Hey man, it's Kevin Smith and you're watching Flash Chat on WCCB Charlotte CW. The speed force is strong with him and Barry and Runaway Dinosaurs. Let's talk about it. It is Flash Chat. I'm your host, Just Jess, and I've got some great guests <laughs> with me today. And this is John Hartness. He is a best-selling science fiction author. Andy Smith, artist. He's got something new to talk about. You guys get pumped for it. Bud Root is an artist. This is his first time on our show. So welcome, <laughs> Bud. Welcome, Bud. Thank you. And we actually Just have Jess. a studio audience this time, which is pretty cool. Crazy. Crazy. Oh. Hey, guys. Yeah. Make some noise. The energy is good. Chase, well, you need to bring them in. We got five people. That was great. <laughs> yes. I know. It sounds, it, like, so it, sounds like sounds like double, like at least 10 people. <laughs> so this episode is really cool, and it was directed by Kevin Smith. And last night we were on CW Fan Talk and we actually got to talk to Kevin Smith. Me and John were Super both awesome. on. And look at this. This is screenshots of us talking to him. Oh, I cool. know. I'm so excited. jealous. I know. My head is huge. It was so cool. And and he was wearing a Bat Jeepster ring, which you might know. Our friend Christoph, he does the Bat Jeepster rings. So um, he was he gave him a shout out, which I thought was great. That's so very cool. bringing, bringing all the com comic community together. Um, but John was on, and tell us about what you've been working on lately. So I've been starting a publishing company. As nice. of the beginning of this year, I founded Falstaff Books with a couple of friends of mine. Okay. I've been self-publishing for years, and now we're opening up the doors to publish other writers' work. Ooh. So people out there who write science fiction and fantasy or literary fiction can send us submissions at falstaffbooks.com. And, and this is one of our 2016 publications. This is Grits, Guns, and Glory, Bubba the Monster Hunter, Volume 2. I love that name, nice. Bubba the Monster Hunter. <laughs> it's the best. It's kind of self-descriptive. It's one of those easy <laughs> ones because when you say Bubba the Monster Hunter. You just know exactly. I, you know, I picture he's from Connecticut, right? Absolutely. He's <laughs> okay. from Connecticut, about 5'9", <laughs> about yeah. 140 pounds, yeah. right. drives a Volvo. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's what I picture. Exactly. Okay. Now, if people want to join the publishing company, how do they get in touch with you? They can find Find me on Twitter at, at John Hartness. At John See? Hartness, right, right there. Right there, Put like over my you. gigantic belly. <laughs> um, or they can find us at falstaffbooks.com. They can find me at pretty much any nerd gathering around the area. Just look for John at the nerd gatherings. At Con Carolinas, <laughs> Heroes Con. Yeah, Con Carolinas is coming up, Heroes Con is coming up, and then there's also the Knights game. There's going to be a superhero theme Knights game. Oh, no way. It's Sunday, what? June 5th, I do believe, yes. Oh, very Talk cool. Talk about nerd gatherings. Yes, that full week. It's it's Con Carolinas, and then, oh, Dudapalooza, Wilson's Dudapalooza, which, yeah, Wilson's nerdy. And then <laughs> we got uh, the Knights game, superhero theme. And what have you been working on? Well, believe it or not, I too am part of a new publishing what? company. That's I know, so shocking. Uh, it's called Ominous Press. It's myself, Bart Sears, who's the original founder of it, uh, another friend of ours, Ron Mars, who is a writer in comics. Together, we have over 75 years of experience in comics. 55 well, on your own. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so we're starting Ominous Press, <clears throat> and we're going to have three books come out, which are. Giant Killers, Demigod, and Prometheus. Mm. I'll be drawing Demigod. Nice. And uh, Giant Killers is going to be written and drawn by Bart Sears. And Ron Mars is writing Demigod and Prometheus. And an uh, artist named Tom Rainey is going to be drawing Prometheus. Very cool. I feel like so. you need to get Stephen Amell to say, Ominous Press. I yes. know we should. You have failed yeah. this publishing company. Um, is, oh, we don't want to say failed. <laughs> no. um, is, press, you have rocked. Of, uh, yes, yeah. or Zoom. Yeah. That would Get work. the Zoom oh, voice. Yeah. Um, so when can we expect to see some of these coming out? <clears throat> we are going to have our, our, I guess, send off, or not send off, but launching preview comic at Heroes Con. Oh, wow. In okay. June. So if come June to Heroes Con, we'll have 16th. a preview comic with mini stories of all these guys. Come find so. them. We'll be at Heroes Con all weekend. It's June. I think it's 16th, 17th, 18th. 17, 18, 19. Yeah, something around there. Yeah. It's Father's Day weekend. Yes, that weekend. Come yeah. and check it out. And Bud, what have you been working uh, on? I am part of an old, really old publishing company. Uh, I, old I've, I've been, OG publishing I've been doing Cave Woman since, I think, 1994. Oh, wow. And, uh, uh, in the next couple of years, though, I'm going to be wrapping her up. Yeah? You know, we got a good, uh, a good promo coming up. Frank Cho of Marvel and, you know, everywhere. Yeah. DC. Um, 
that's where he's working on Wonder Woman now, I think. I think but he is. That's where mm -hmm. I know the name from, yeah. He's going to be publishing a, a Bud Root book <gasps> coming out probably so around it, August. Are, are you going to be animated? Are you going to be a comic that's in me. the book? You're gonna I'm be, sorry? You're going to be, they're going to do like a comic of you, or is it going to be No, it's, it's all, they're going to get all my best stuff. He's going to put oh, it all I together. I see. Oh, okay, so like, yeah. I really wish there was like you as a superhero. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to see that. Bless your I heart, do. Jessica. Yeah, that I needs know. to happen. Someone out there do it. This, Someone's this guy, he's got it. the shape. The Andy boastful bud root. <laughs> well, we, we learned on TV that lightning gives you abs. So there you go. Okay. Yeah, just I, need, I need a few We're strikes. Just waiting for a lightning strike before beach season. <laughs> yeah. um, so, what did you guys think about Kevin Smith's episode last night? Did you think he did a good job? Yeah, I mean, to me, it had the same. And this isn't a knock or anything against Kevin, but it had the same tone. Yeah. Like, if I didn't know, I wouldn't be like, is this a guest star director? I know. Oh my God. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Exactly. Like, so. I feel like it would, he would have to have had like somebody walking around a mall holding like a coffee cup or whatever to make it seem like. Or a, maybe like a guest spot from yeah. some guy who's oh. done a bunch of his mo Oh, wait. Hmm. Oh, wait. Jason Oh, wait. Mews. Okay. So, did you see <laughs> that the Jason Mewes? <laughs> the cameos of Jason Mewes. We first see him at the beginning, and there's a sneak one you probably didn't notice. He's first at the beginning. I didn't um, see that. Where he comes out, he's kind of being like a jerk with this lady. And he's yeah. like, oh, my car's awesome. And it turns out it's his it's mom's, mom's car. car. Oh. Um, but then there's one more, and he, at the end, look at the left on the left in the suit. That's Jay Mews. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So he got to be a, like a metahuman too, which probably I think oh. made his dreams come true. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> yes. Uh, so the Speed Force was the big thing for this episode. It was kind of cool because it was kind of like a Twilighty episode. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how'd you feel about them not fully explaining the science of the Speed Force? I, I think it's it's. It, it's good to leave a little bit of a blank space. It's like it's like mm -hmm. whenever you explain it perfectly, you're going to get somebody to come out of the woodworks yeah. to correct you and all the rest of that. Right. So leave it open and just putting the force yeah. into it. It's cool. That's going to appeal to you know, yeah. all the Star Wars geeks out there. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's just magic. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's okay that it's just magic. I mean, there's you can only raise lay so much reality onto its superheroes, y'all. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah, and I think it leaves it open for them to maybe do something in season three with the Speed Force because we right. don't have a defined explanation of what it is. We can right. go back to it. Well, hopefully not too many times. Could an average kid tap into the Speed Force right. and Ooh. win a high school race? You know, interesting. You know, average kid use the force. might have the Speed Force. Average Wally, the Wally West. We'll get, oh, Wally we'll West. get there. Oh man. Okay, so there's a lot of what I, the emergency awesome Charlie Schneider he has a great Twitter and he does a lot of good recap videos there's um, he called it speed force therapy which I thought was cool so there are <laughs> yeah. a lot of really cool yeah. moments and do you think that this is now finally the moment where Barry Allen comes to terms with what happened with his mom that he couldn't save her for the timeline is this going to be the defining moment where from here he can launch forward and keep that kind of behind him I hope so. Yeah, I would hope so. I, like I kind of hope not. No. It's a good what? Th well, it's a good thing to touch back to for him. Yes, he's dealt with it, but it's also a really good motivator in, in some instances, yeah. and it's also a really good place to stick a knife or a stick if you're a bad guy. See, that's, true. that's the writer. That's true. Yeah. 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 See, that's the but, writer himself. But come on. I can see the different avenues. This, yes. this isn't Arrow. We don't need to be flashback in every episode. No, there's stuff true. we want to see. Every episode. Every episode. Every then we have episode. the intelligent writer next. <laughs> no, hold on a second. Well, you know, because the, there's only one thing a writer likes more than torturing his characters, <laughs> and that's torturing his readers, that's or right. in this case, right. the viewers. It's right. true. Yeah, and, well, and, they do kind of on the show just enough, but it would, it would be nice if it doesn't torment him so no, much anymore. No, he doesn't need to yeah, be right. tortured, brooding Barry. We've got that, yeah. those mm -hmm. movies. If, if, if there was anything anything that I could complain about the, the, the flashes, there's too much of that, you know, you know, soap opera. Oh, I've loved you, I've missed you, you need to love me, and I love you back. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> let's, let's get back on to the, uh, the action stuff. We're, we're going to get to that. <laughs> yeah. we got to right. talk about that. We'll give it a second. But So we see that Barry uh, confronts his mom, and he also confronts his dad in the Speed Force with, you know, someone very interesting. his dad. The Force. The, his yeah, dad. his Force is his dad, very Star Wars-y. There's my man, so, Chip. So Papa Allen, he's back for good. My question is, do you trust this guy? He was gone for a while. A lot of wonky things have been happening with Jay Hunter. Is, do we trust I, yeah. this guy? I, wonky I, things happening. I don't trust mm -hmm. anybody in a comic book show. See, uh, smart, yeah. You know, there's <laughs> all say, these masks <laughs> and, and doppelgangers and earths right? and rifts and holes and zip and zap and zoom and, oh, yeah, him too. Zoom, zoom. Uh, you know, no. No? Nope. I mean, I... <laughs> 
I would like to until he said that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks, balloon, pop. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'd like to trust him. It's funny, though, one of the questions I have is, so he gets out of jail, was there some lawsuit that we don't know about? Because where's he getting his money from? Yeah, and and when, <laughs> when well, Barry went to visit him, that was a pretty nice place he was in. A nice cabin. Yeah. Well, so maybe because he was like, like wrongly, right. falsely they were like, uh, accused or wrongly convicted. Here's money, go away. Yeah, usually, that does happen. Sure. It was the with that. Innocence yeah, Project right. was helping That's out, right. um, Papa Allen. Um, but mm -hmm. I still think it's weird that, I know maybe it was just a plot device, but it's weird that he was gone for so long. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe we just have to look past that. Maybe it was a plot device, but I feel like everything on the show is kind of pointed. Um, right. The right. name drop last week, does that make you think when he said Garrick is my mother's middle or maiden name mm -hmm. does that make you think differently about who your predictions of the man in the mask is I mean I still think it's Jay Garrick do you think it's Jay Garrick yeah. do you think it looks the, like the real John Wesley Jay Shane? Garrick okay yeah I think it's Jay Garrick still interesting I want to know then where the Allen name comes from because Barry Allen in Earth 2 was Barry Allen so yeah. there's going to be something there maybe there's like a cobalt blue twin kind of thing mm. still yeah, curious I don't know I I still I still want the man in the mask to be Eddie Thon. Yeah, I know. I would like oh, to see Eddie yeah. Thon. I think I think Eddie that Thon? would just yeah. The Eddie last Thon. year, Rick Cosman's character that he died. Yeah, because I, I just think that would I'm rip the hearts up. out of the whole West Allen thing. Yeah. Put the brakes on that right away. Yeah. And now again, that's more true. torture. That's what I'm saying. That leads right to what you're saying, <laughs> yeah. which is like, and, let's beat up our hero, and, and that would do it. Yeah, that's yeah. my question to you guys: Is we see West Allen kind of happens this episode? They both agreed to the like each other. They finally are like, oh, the timing's great. Will something happen now? Because it like seems too good. All of these people have been waiting for West Allen to happen, and it just seems too soon within the series mm, for them to finally. Not this season. Yeah. I think. No so way. does that kind of doom Iris? Like next episode, something is going to happen. Do you oh, think? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. You really if I, if I were writing it, somebody would be dead. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but, but we She's know that they're not going to do that. Yeah. yeah. We know they're not going to kill him off. But no, no if that. Yeah. It, Spoiler alert, if anybody ever like hooks up in my books, somebody's dying. Uh oh. Of course, I write vampires, so half of them are already dead to start oh, when the well. books open. That's there true. you go. He had a great quote he said to Iris, he said, Barry said, You're everything to me and you always have been the sound this you always have been, and the sound of your voice will always bring me home. And she did. Yeah. She was the one who finally got him back from the speed force. Although it was just kind of good timing. It's not like he didn't want to come back. He wanted right. to get it was just it, powers. that's that's mm -hmm. the only thing that as I'm watching the episode, I'm like, oh, it's going to be one of those things where, oh, look, everything times out just right. Perfectly. You know, Vibe yes. grabs her, they go in, he catches the shadow thing, yep. and he's ready to go home. And it's just like, wow, what a coincidence. All this, like, what if Worked he called it and really well. went back and she wasn't there? He could still go back. True. And, you know, he goes into the cave and he catches the dark thing and it knocks its face, the mask off, and it's his face. Oh, wait. I'm getting my <laughs> fandoms mixed up. Right? I don't know what you're talking about. It, okay, so is there a chance that could Barry Allen have left? Do you guys know from the comic books? Could he have left the Speed Force on his own without Cisco's help? That's the impression I got last night. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, the impression yeah. I got last I night know. was they basically said you have to catch, you know, the shadowy figure. Yeah. And to get it back, and then you can go back. So and I, mean, I guess the shadowy figure was like his soul. He's got to, he's gotta to embrace the speed yeah. force. But right. the shadowy figure, that was the force, right? Yeah, well, it was yeah. him, well, his it's force. A, it's it his, was him, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He was catching himself, I guess, uh -huh. um, after he read the book with his mom. Um, with Vibe's powers, uh, we're seeing them growing stronger to the point where he can actually reach through different dimensions. Do you think this will come into play at some point we only got like three, what, two, three, two, two, two episodes, episodes left. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. oh my goodness. So things are going to wrap up. But do you think that we'll have to use those powers to get to a different dimension this season? I mean, it could be a way for them to get to Earth 2 without Zoom knowing True. it. Yeah. Yeah. Without the rift. Because I think when they open that the portal rift, Zoom knows it. Yeah. So that's a way that maybe they could get over there. True, but he sensed it last time. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. um, Vibe is cool. I probably Vibe is cool. I think Vibe is my favorite character. Of that. I mean, he's so grounded. He's got his stuff together. Yeah. He cares about his family, even though his family didn't seem to care that much about I him. I know. And, and he's he the one that always, you know, Patronus. And even more than the doctor, he's the one that's kept everybody together. And him and the and the girl. He he did. The, so this episode, did you? <coughs> 
like the face of the Star Labs team this episode. It was totally like a whole different group of people. <clears throat> you know, Papa Allen was there. Caitlin wasn't there. Um, what Jesse do you think was about around. That? Yeah. It, it was kind of odd. It was kind of like, you know, the what is it, the League of Substitute Superheroes? Yeah, oh, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. It, and did you think that, from what I understand, Wally still doesn't know that Barry is the Flash? I don't think so, no, because think so. even when he gave up his speed, vo speed force for him and Wally was in the room, he was <laughs> disguising his voice. Yeah, yeah. He's got to figure that out soon, man. Yeah. Come on, Wally. We know more than that. Um, Maybe so that's one of the big reveals coming up in the at the end. Sure. It might be. <laughs> That'll be interesting, too, because he w it literally worships the Flash. He does. Mm -hmm. He doesn't think much of Barry. At least he hasn't. It is an awkward right. relationship. Right. Yeah, the, the weird brother vibe. Um, I still think, we were talking about this last night on Fan Talk, I still think that Joe is really Barry's father figure. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah. and that, like, Henry Allen comes in and it's a little campy in some ways. Like, sure. He says, hey, slugger. I mean, right. just things are... Maybe we'll give him a, a pass because he's been in prison for most of Barry's life, so I guess he doesn't know how to talk to him that well. He's, but. he's a comic book dad. Yeah, you know, that's I know true. we're on a comic book show, but... But... Um... Henry... He's the perfect comic book he dad. He's yeah. the perfect yeah. comic yeah, book dad. Is. Yeah. Or, you know, My Three Sons, or... Yeah, some yeah, of those. Yeah. He's sitcom comic book dad. And my three well, sons. You're well, older than you look, aren't you, Jeff? There's, you know, <laughs> I earned every yeah, white hair in this beard. Right right <laughs> we're talking about the perfect dad. We're yeah. blast from the past. Yeah. I think I watched some of my three sons. Um, I did. I'm just saying, yeah, that's a show from the 50s, Jeff. Is it? Well, I think I watched the repeats. Time. On Nickelodeon yeah. when you were young. Yeah, Nick and Night. Yeah, yeah. Right. I years. saw the ones when they first came out. There you go. Okay. It was no Flash. <laughs> I watched The Flash is a great show. So Wells' character is also kind of like a father figure, but have you guys noticed the progression of him and Cisco's teamwork? They have a lot sure. more, like, they're kind of a great little yeah. odd couple on this show. I love that. I love, I love like I said, I love to... Uh, all, all the quips and everything. Yeah. The, yeah, they're, they're a funny little duo. Like, I haven't watched any of that new Cisco series on no, CWC. Right. I but, haven't either, but boy, I want to. Yeah, but if it was, like, Wells and him together, I think that would be a really cool show. I would enjoy the, you know their banter <laughs> because they're both smart but they're just different um, and he had some good references mm -hmm. did, what ones did you guys catch oh oh yeah zombie related yeah. No. oh yeah oh, walking dead walking of course. dead yeah. and he did a nod to the I CW zombie. I zombie yes yeah um, oh, and he? yeah as he came one. running in the first time he came into star labs he's like I zombies right behind me yeah oh, okay yeah. And I was like dude I zombies way cuter than that guy <laughs> That's funny. Yes, yes, yeah but it's really cool that they did that you know oh, I like yeah. when they interconnect all the shows I was surprised they said walking dead though. that surprised me too yeah just like, because it's like it's current well, I mean, it's, it's competition it is well, you know? Yeah, but I love that, Cisco's That's so it's, pop culture. Yeah. yeah. And, and Walking Dead has become so pervasive. And you can't yeah, only do true. things that are, like, already done. Like, right. you have to, like, already have uh, finished. Um, Jesse Quick, Wally West, Speed Force. What do you think? Jesse, does she have it? Does Wally not? What are your thoughts? Something's going to have to trigger it for Wally. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's got to be, you know, literally... Almost like the Incredible Hulk thing, where in the way back the TV show, he busted his knuckles and he just hulked out. Yeah, yeah I think something adrenaline-wise will have to trigger it for Wally, and then it's just there. You know, he just has it. Yeah. You know, Jesse, on the other hand, I don't know, because whatever he did when he grabbed her hand, that little that little electricity and spark. stuff. Yeah. yeah. She. So. Um, yeah. So I don't know if that was him. Some people are saying maybe that was him, kind of like a conduit for the powers, like giving her the powers, or. Was it both of them, like Speed Force, if you like hold hands and spark? I don't know. But it's it's interesting. I, I'm curious to see, because they're, they're setting it up as the same thing that happened to Barry. Mm -hmm. Right. And they're kind of giving her the role of Kid Flash in a way. Well, right. the, interesting, the thing I think is going to be interesting is going, going deep into the old JSA for a while. Uh -oh. um, because Johnny Quick and Jesse Quick had the formula mm -hmm. that they had to say to activate the speed force and yeah now she's a mathematician and they're always working with all these formulas maybe oh, something's going true. to happen and she solves the speed force i think in a past episode carla may have noticed uh carla from heroes comic book store may have mm. noticed the speed force equation <laughs> on something i think she mentioned it. i would not be surprised if, if anyone knew it yeah. she would know it and i think it was they saw it so that's that's a good point maybe that'll be something that will they'll have to use to get those powers i mean it's not as cool as a cat in a flash costume but yeah oh 
I forgot to I'll give my shout outs. <laughs> I'll do it at the end. No one let me forget. Okay, um, Caitlin and the Zoom Army. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think she's going to decide to... I think even if she decides to side with Jay or Hunter, whatever his name is, um, I think it'll be for the good of everybody. Right. But will she get... What do you think? Do you think she'll get sucked into that? No, I don't think she will. I don't think she's going to leave because she just knows that's bad news. Yeah. So she'll have to stay and kind of try and put one over on him. Yeah. yeah. You know? It's a tough ultimatum because whatever she's going to do, she's going to put her friends first. Right. So she will sacrifice herself. Right. for the good of her friends. It's going to be, you know, a Leia bounty hunter kind of thing. Yeah. Or is Sharon this, Carter sleeper agent kind of thing. Or because they killed her doppelganger, you know, Killer Frost, is well, this how she becomes Killer, Killer Frost, Frost next year? Mm. That's what I was that's thinking. That's what I was kind of thinking yeah. because I don't, I think it's too easy to be like, well, that's how we saw Killer Frost and that's it. No. Yeah. I, I feel yeah, like no. too much was maybe put into creating that character for mm. them to be like, just two episodes and you're gone by. So I think that something dark might happen with her character. Mm -hmm. And maybe that'll be season three's uh, conflict and they'll be trying to break Caitlyn out of the darkness. Who knows? I'm sure, I mean, we got two episodes left and I know big things are going to happen. That army of metahumans that Zoom brought, this Whoa. was such a cool scene. Yeah. Yeah, and I was yeah. trying to look at it and see if we could see any one, okay, the guy with the green flashing, it's kind of covered by the Flash Chat logo. Yeah, that he, looked a lot like Firestorm. a Green Lantern. Oh, it did? It looked like Firestorm a little bit to me, like a oh, dead yeah. Firestorm. Yeah, that's good. Like a zombie uh, Firestorm. Ooh. Could be. Mm. Or it could just be some other kind of, I was trying to look close and I didn't recognize anybody, but I, I probably wouldn't. They flashed it really quick. Yeah, no, no pun intended. Fast. They flash them quick. <laughs> flashed it quick. But we um, will see next episode the Black Siren. I know. Yeah, oh, we yeah. saw that. I was my jaw really did drop. I was really? like, oh, she's back. Yes. So she What's, is Earth 2's Black Canary. And oh, okay. Because she got killed on Arrow. Yeah. Sorry, oh, buddy. So don't watch Arrow. No, yeah. no, that's like, <laughs> I ruined it for we you. I haven't watched Arrow. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler from like so, three seasons ago. So yes, well, she got she got killed, um, and. They brought her back, and that's actually how I guessed that it was Katie Cassidy in the grave because they dyed her hair brown for this, and Arrow was not done shooting. And so it's like, they're not going to dye her hair before they wrap. They would put a wig on her. So it's like, she did. And she was. I called it, I guess. Um, let's take a look at the trailer for next week with Black Siren. Cool. What are you up to? No good. The speed force is with us. How could we possibly lose? I'm just not afraid anymore. You always have to be the hero. And while you're playing the good little boy, I'll be busy winning. No! I would love to see a hawk, man. That would Wicked cool. Well, Hawkman well, we and you can see one. we killed yeah. one. It could be like the Did zombie we kill one already? on Legends of Legends. Tomorrow. I gotta get out of there. I gotta <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get out of my studio more often. <laughs> time gotta time gotta to get sign out. on to Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, okay, you guys saw some people. Did you have any predictions of who some of these metahumans were? No, not uh, really. I just the hawk. Yeah. Just that the, looked like oh, a hawk. Yeah. A hawk. E. Flying creature. Right. Yes. Whatever that was, that looks motivating. You know, <laughs> yeah. Whatever. It's it going to be a dark episode, and I'm kind of interested to see this, like, war. Like a, a It just kills me because there's coming. all those it's people, coming. and Barry's like, we can do it. We got this. And everybody else yep. is probably we like, this is we stuff, <laughs> dude. You're the fast one. I can just vibe stuff. I can't help. I know. <laughs> I got a gun. <laughs> and yeah. they're even down a Star Labs member. They're down Vibe's going to do something. Yeah. Vibe's going to do something. He's, he's just the coolest. He's, they he'll, do he'll have that today. big honking scythe, though. Yeah. That yes. thing's just kind of floating around. I mm. forgot about that. Yeah, and, they do. You know, Wells has his ray gun. That's true. Which he's Who never he managed like, to actually hit anybody with. Right. True. <laughs> they could bring in some rogues. You never know. Like Captain Cole can make an appearance kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's time traveling. Hey, you know, what about, you about, what about bringing in Susan, or what's her, what's her name, uh, Supergirl, the... Well, they having could. Having a guest star They won't it? cross yeah. her over quite yet. <laughs> oh, I want to ask cool you one. guys. The, there are a lot of reports that possibly they put Supergirl on CW. That's what we were saying. Yeah, what, what are your thoughts on that? Score. Yeah, I, I, yeah, think, I think it's I a great idea. It's yep. a win-win. It would be awesome. It's a network that knows how to do superheroes. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I think, I mean, I think if we did that, we could maybe wrap Legends after mm -hmm. a season because it... I, we don't think we need four. Uh, no, we legend, need five, ten. Twelve? Yeah, yeah, every whatever. day of the week. All, like, 24-hour programming. Oh, of, well, they did, I mean, it's all young, pretty people, so it may as well be it. all superheroes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm curious. I don't know how 
like how true the rumors are. CW upfronts are May 19th, and we will know on May 20th what is new for next season. So we will tell everybody. Well, they moved up. They moved. I did read the production of Supergirl from LA to Canada. Oh, mm. but it could just be to save money. Well, it is. Yeah. I, it, no, that's what they said. They said for cost saving, we're moving it to Canada. But still, that's where Arrow shot. Yeah. Isn't that where Flash is that's shot? That's where like five shoots. CW shows right. are shot. So, I yeah. Mean, yeah. It w Super and I think cool. if they put it on the CW, they could actually change the tone of Supergirl a little yes. bit yeah. to make it match more. Yeah. Because right now it's so not a crossovers. perfect match. Yeah. yeah. I know the episode I saw, I enjoyed it. It wasn't my favorite. I felt glad about us having the Flash and Arrow. You're talking about the craft, the crossover? With yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. I enjoyed I've, it. I've seen the first few episodes of Supergirl and I like the characters, but. It's gotten really good the past, 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 the past it's year. It's gotten better. Yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a good show. Um, I'm, I still think Flash is the strongest of all the three, mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. makes me feel bad because oh, I was yeah. such an Arrow fan, and Arrow's still good, and last night, or last week's episode was really good. It's on tonight at 8. Um, but. I think it sometimes gets overshadowed now by the greatness of the Flash. I'm a solid year behind. It's You're so dark. What? I can't. I, dude, I'm so yeah. behind. You'll I'm catch not, up I mean, I'm not by root behind, but I'm God. close. It is, it, is, it is so dark. I got to go write vampires. I'll be right okay, back. Yeah, this is too dark for me. Because <laughs> that's lighter. Mine are. <laughs> you write the Twilight kind. Well, I wanted to they give... sparkle, but there's a real good reason, and it washes off after a couple of showers. Oh, God. Okay. I wanted to give some special shout outs. Uh, first of all, to the Facebook group, the Flash Discussion Group, Lance Osfrisser, and the whole gang. Everyone join that group. It's the biggest one out there. There are lots of great theories, images. Um, there's a lot of things. I mean, I look into all this Flash stuff all the time, and there's a lot of stuff I see on this page that I wouldn't have seen elsewhere. So join that on Facebook. The address is right there. Um, I want to give another shout out to, I have a, a pal in Denmark that was watching yesterday. Whoa. And Solomon Sal Bortner, I hope I'm saying your name right. And he has this cool Zoom mask. Yeah. Look at that thing. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's really amazing. Cool. So shout out to him. Hi in Denmark. I don't even know what time it is is there and then Freddie Dadell I think I'm saying his name right Dowdell he brought by look at the shirt it's the coolest shirt you can there you go Ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> it's a cat flash so thanks Freddie you're awesome we all thank you um the next event that the street team is going to be at will be uh the flash finale viewing party we're doing <laughs> another one I'm gonna make a Facebook group for it um it will be at heroes aren't hard to find comic book store on 7th street May 24th that's a Tuesday night of course because we're watching the show live come out at 6 p.m stay past the show because we are actually gonna do a live flash chat and I think we're gonna kind of do like a groupy flash chat thing like uh, oh, cool. like oh. anybody can kind of participate um and heart soda shop will be there and i believe frank oh, nice. the tank from jj's red hot so Doesn't get a cool get like really nice soda float kind of deal and hot dog i mean that's score. awesome okay. score and last time tom cavanagh skyped in which was cool you just don't ever know if somebody else might I don't know. You know. We have it's to call gonna Carlin. It's going to be quality time. It's going to be regardless. quality time. Bud's going to be there. He's going to be there front row. Uh, I hope so. Bag of popcorn. That's right. Well, this was <laughs> a crazy good episode, and we only got two more. We're going to watch that last one live. But um, let's go back through. If we want to find John, where can we find you? You can follow me on Twitter at, at John Hartness. You can find me on the web at johnhartness.com, facebook.com slash John G. Hartness. I'm real original in all of this stuff. Yes. It's my name. Remember his name. So, yeah, go out there. Buy my stuff. Buy his stuff. Ominous Press. Ominous Press for myself. It's just andysmithart.com. For Ominous Press, it's ominouspress.com. And then on Facebook, it's Facebook. Dot com slash ominous press. Ominous press. Ominous press. And Bud Root. And I'm, I'm not. I'm not selling anything right He's now. He's not I'm, anywhere. We I'm can't too find far him. behind all my commissions. That uh, but <laughs> you can get the book that Frank Cho's going to be putting out. Get that out book. That'll August. be actually really cool. Um, and yeah, find his work there. Go to Heroes Convention. Facebook. Facebook. Emerald.com. Emerald.com. He said it might not be safe for work. So go on there right now, everybody. <laughs> what Twitter was it? Feed, NSFW. So. Yeah. NSFW. Yeah. Not yes. For kids. Not for kids. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Until next week, happy flash chatting. Bye. Thank you.